should, should you as a straight man like somebody who's trans? Didn't mean to rhyme, but let's get to it, man. All right, start the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video. So you're straight and you're really attracted to trans women, but you don't know what to call yourself. Open-minded, not an asshole, not a transphobe, a decent human being, a heterosexual. Mm. Trans women are women. So to say otherwise, or to try to come up with a new label for your sexuality for being attracted to us would be othering and assuming that we are not real women when we are. So you're straight and you're really attracted to trans- this, I'm so tired of having this stupid discussion. Not gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> First of all, let me say this. Let's just get off the whole trans women and women because I don't believe that. So let's just go ahead and get that out the way. But let's talk about if you are a straight man and you are attracted to a trans woman, would that make you homosexual? If you don't know that the trans woman is a trans woman and you're attracted to somebody who is who looks, you're attracted to somebody who looks really feminine, right? Who looks Really, I don't want to say it looks like a woman because there's obviously women look different. There's really beautiful women. There's some, you know, conventionally non-attractive women. So I don't want to say it looks like a woman. But if somebody looks like an attractive woman, right, feminine, feminine features, feminine chin bone, you know, feminine face features. If they look like that, then, of course, a, a straight man would be attracted to somebody who looks like an attractive woman. Now. Would it make you homosexual to obviously have int uh, intimacy or relationships with them? Yes, that would make you homosexual because you now know this is a man, right? They have or they have man genitalia or they have the vaginal plasty, whatever. Yes, then that would make you homosexual. But if I look at somebody and that person happens to look like an attractive woman, me as a male, of course, I'm going to think, oh, you know what? I'm a man. That looks like an attractive woman. Oh, of course. Duh. Duh. I mean, I don't understand why people get that confused. I don't say now, obviously, if you go and do stuff with them and you find out that this person is actually a man. Yeah, of course, you, of course, then it'll be homosexual. You being attracted to them might not change. Why? Because every time you think in your head, you're going to see an attractive woman. Maybe you have to think to yourself, oh, yeah, this is the man. Right. And let's let's be honest with ourselves. When we look at Blair White. When we, we tend to say she, we tend to say her, because if you were describing Blair, Blair looks so much like an attractive woman, you would think you're normally going to say woman, right? They have the features of what anybody with two eyes would see and think that's a woman, not a man. So it's hard for your brain to flip to me saying Blair and going he, because Blair looks like what you and what we know as a woman, right? Obviously, there's some people in this world who are somewhat ambiguous, right? And they don't look like either. They kind of have a mixture of very some masculine features, some feminine features, and they come together. So you don't know if you're looking at just a really skinny girl or you're looking at a young boy. I mean, sometimes that happens, uh, but it, it, it's part of life. I don't understand why we get put in this category of you have to look this way, look this way. But now let me go ahead and address our trans women. Women know, OK, conversation over. And I'm to the point I'm kind of with Riley Gaines on this part. I don't say biological woman anymore. I don't say biological man anymore. I just say trans woman and woman, trans man, man. That's all there is. Because obviously a biological man is just a man. You don't have to say biological as a meaning, because if you say biological man, it's like you're almost giving in to the whole cis thing. It's just like it's just a man and a trans man, woman, trans woman, like it's been for a long time. We don't have to make this confusing. They want to get us confused and saying all this other stuff. But and a trans woman in within nature cannot be a woman unless you are saying a woman is not an adult female. If you're if you're if the definition of a woman is not an adult female, then obviously you're cracked in the head. I'm sorry. If you don't believe that, that's fine. You live in your delusion. You can live in that for the rest of your life. But I don't think that everybody should have to do it because to me. It's disrespectful, right? I You can't force me to give in to your ideology, but then say my ideology is stupid, right? You can't come at me and then I get chastised or I get something. Something happens to me because I didn't happen to call you by the right pronoun because in my eyes, in my head, in my... You see, what if I'm delusional? How come you can look at somebody and say, oh, that's a he or she, and you can just say whatever you want. But if I say that, and if I see you, and I, my head, my brain says you're a man, just like when you look in the mirror, you say to yourself, you're a man, even though you're a woman, 
right? When you look in the mirror and say those same things, and I look in the mirror and say something different, how come I'm the delusional one, but you're the one who's right? How come only my ideology has to be cast down? How come only my ideology has to get me um, put on a, oh, we got to watch him. He, he may be, he may get demonetized. He may do this. He may do that. We got to watch that man because he said he instead of she, because when he saw the person, he thought he in his head, um, even though it's okay for other people to do it, but it's not okay for me to do it. I'm the one who's delusion and they're allowed to, you know what I'm saying? I hate the whole separation thing, right? If you look like a, if you look like an attractive woman or you look like what I have seen as a woman, I might call you she. Not because I'm respecting your pronouns, because in my head, I'm not trying to be confused, man. I'm not trying to spend the rest of my days being confused, being like, is that a he or a no? I'm just going to say what I think. Okay, when a policeman comes up to me and they want to describe somebody who just attacked me, I don't have time to be like, uh, yeah, psh, it was a, uh, it was a it. That's not going to help anybody. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, look like a man. He did this. He did that because you know what? The guy who robbed me had a beard, big muscular person. I assumed that it was a guy. Okay, if it was a woman, okay. If I'm wrong, okay. But I'm not about to play these games because it gets too serious, especially in emergencies, especially when you're trying to point somebody out. I just think that all day. Why do you all want people to be confused and just losing their mind? I just don't agree with that. I just feel like we got to respect each other. I want to respect you. You respect me. Once again, I've said this before, before and I'll say it again. Us trans people, we are not on different sides. We are both human beings. I want to be treated with respect. You treat me with respect. All right. But that doesn't mean that you get to walk all over me and I just got to do whatever you say. And the same thing for me. If you want to go around calling somebody he, she, or they, they, or they, they, Z, Z, or if you want to do that, you do that. Hey, man, blessings to you. But don't get on my case if I want to say he, she, because that's what I choose to live my life. You can't live your life however you want to and then force your way up on me. That's disrespectful, even though I completely disagree. Right. Even though I have vehemently disagree with you guys, right? Disagree with people who go through that route. I'm not going to go out of my way to make you feel bad. I don't come out with hate speech. I don't come out and say you guys are sickos. I don't come out and say all this stuff. Only time I ever say sicko or weirdo is when somebody's trying to be trans in order to get around kids or they're trying to make somebody else uncomfortable. That's weird to me. If you specifically do it just to make other people uncomfortable, I got a problem because y'all know how I feel about people treating people like they're NPCs. I don't like people to treat other people like they don't matter, like they're the only person in the world. If I walk, me personally, if I walk into a woman's bathroom and I make every woman in there feel uncomfortable, which makes complete sense, I don't think that's right. I don't think I should do that. I shouldn't be like, no, you have to be comfortable and live with it. That's not right to me because I can easily just make a decision that makes everybody comfortable. I can use a family restroom or I can do something different. If I have to do that sometimes to make people feel comfortable, that's fine. The only time that it can come into play where it's not fair is if I'm, a, you know, if I'm walking into a place and everybody just happens to not like black people. If I'm just coming there to get a cup of coffee and there's three people in there that are white or Asian or Hispanic that and they all three of them just happen to not like black people. I shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable. Right. I'm not trying to make them feel uncomfortable, but the color of my skin is the color of my skin. But if I go out of my way to change everything from the natural norm, black people naturally exist. White people naturally exist. Right. Man and female naturally exist. But if I would change something about myself completely and then start calling myself something different, if I walk into a, a meeting of people who are and it, listen, I know some people are against this, whatever. But if I walk into a, a whole um, meeting or something that ha or not a meeting, but let's say it's a reunion or something and it all happens to be white people. Right. And I just show up because I'm black and I don't know anybody at the party, but I show up because I'm like, you know what? You guys are racist. I can't believe that there's no black people at this party. That doesn't make any sense. And nobody even knows who I am. That makes no sense to me. Why would I go ruin something that has nothing to do with me? I'm making people uncomfortable because they all happen to just be white and they all happen to be at the same place at the same time doing a family reunion because the whole family happens to be white. And I come in there and be like, well, no, no, no. Somebody here has got to be black. One of y'all has got to get with a black person or a Hispanic person. Y'all got to start having babies. That's dumb to me because I'm not I'm not trying to live my life to make everybody's life uncomfortable. I'm not trying to make everybody feel like, oh, you got to deal with it. That's just me. So that's how I feel about when people say trans women are women, trans men are men. I don't believe that. But hey, I'm allowed to believe that. OK, I'm allowed to believe that you do what you're going to do. Just don't make people uncomfortable and don't force it on nobody because you don't want us doing that to you. 
people, you know, I'm a Catholic man. Nobody wants me being, oh, you know what? Well, well, this says this and this says that. Nobody wants me to do all that. And I'm not going to. I don't go out of my way. If you, if you question me, I'm going to give it to you. But I don't go out of my way. If I have the right to go speak at a meeting or something, of course, I'll say something which will align with my faith. But I'm not going to go out of my way. I'm not going to show up to a, a trans meeting or something and be like, you guys are wrong. I'm not doing all that. If you want to do that, I'm not trying to bother you like that. I only do that when I feel like it's causing other people to be uncomfortable or it's putting other people or minors in a place they don't need to be. Then I'll speak up. But I never go out of my way to do that. You understand? Bye.